Hey guys, Ollie here from Local Knowledge. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to make one of our favorite dishes here in Southern California. I think it's really caught on along the country, and that's poke. I went and saw our friends at Catalina Offshore Products, and they hooked me up with this. This is a piece of actually farm-raised bluefin tuna that grew up right here off of our shores. And this is just gonna make an epic, epic bowl of pokey. So I'm just gonna kind of break this down into little strips. I want decent sized cubes, but I don't want it to be overpowering. There's about a right size for me, and I think that's about, I don't know, a half inch cube is perfect. I'm just gonna go to work here making smaller pieces. Man, look at that. Now we've got our fish chunk up into really nice half inch cubes. I'm gonna put this in the freezer just to kind of let it firm up even more while I'm prepping the rest of the dish. Okay, so I got my onion. Normally I try to chop like for ceviche or tacos or whatever. I'm gonna make my onion bits totally small. Um, that is not the case here. I like it really thin, thin as I possibly can. Like trying to shave it. Okay, got a nice pile of onions. Now I never make poke without a jalapeno in it. So let's get to work on this guy. Jalapenos, you can keep the seeds in, take them out to be safe. I'm gonna take about half of the seeds out of this thing. I'm gonna kind of put this together and adjust on the fly. I'm just gonna start off by applying onion until I visually get the look that I like. Um, that's probably pretty close for the amount of fish we have. I'm gonna take all these really thin jalapeno slices Again, I'm just gonna toss it around and visually get a feel for it. In this case, we got about a pound and a half of fish and we've got eh, about half of a medium sized white onion. I'm not seeing as much jalapeno as I want. I'm gonna get the last little bits there off the knife. Okay. And now here's a few more fundamentals for making pokey. This is chili garlic sauce. This is a teaspoon load it up i'm going to start right there you can always add more you can't obviously take it back this is a hawaiian dark sea salt it's just got a little bit different flavor if you've never goofed around with high-end salts and stuff man they can really change the complexion of a dish you want this to be kind of big chunks and we're going to hit it again after we toss it togarashi japanese red pepper and it's got a little bit of a chili flavor to it as well as you can see there are no laws to what I'm doing here. I'm just kind of mixing it in proportions that I know have worked in the past. A Little bit of black pepper. This is the one you gotta be super careful with. This is sesame oil. A little bit goes a long way. Just a couple little drizzles is really all you need. Now I'm gonna to toss it again. Roasted sesame seeds. I'm gonna hit it pretty good with the sesame seeds. So with pokey, I do like to let this set up. With a ceviche, I like to eat it right away. This will be delicious just as it is, but I find those flavors really just get better over the next hour or two. And I'm not afraid to eat this the next day or even a couple of days later. And as I get closer to plating, I'll put some soy sauce and some green onion. I don't want either to sit in it for too long. A lot of times I only put the green onion on top, but a little mixed in is pretty solid. I'm gonna put a little soy. You can always add more later on the plate. So now let's talk about plating it. So we're gonna show you how to prepare this and lay it out on top of rice. And it just makes a great hearty dinner that you can eat a few nights in a row and totally not get tired of. Here's a bowl of white sushi rice. We're gonna take the pokey. I'm gonna kind of kick it off to one side. I don't wanna completely bury the rice. Just so if you want a little more rice with each bite or a little more fish, you kind of got that option, right? I'm gonna shake a little bit of this back on top. One more magic ingredient. This is masago. This is the orange stuff you get on top of your sushi. It's kind of like instant ocean flavor. Got some avo that I had chopped up earlier, keeping with the theme. Just a little bit of sriracha on top. All right, guys, that's how we do it at our house. It's a poke bowl, super, super simple, quality fish. All this stuff you can pretty much get in this Asian section of your favorite supermarket, except the Masago. You're probably gonna need to go to a specialty store or 
You know, when I'm in a pinch, I'll stop by and see my friends at the sushi bar and I'll just buy a little container of it off of them. Hope you enjoy this and get a chance to make it at home.